Hello friends, this video on basic concepts of chemistry part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. And please note, let's understand this topic called significant figures. Now it's very significant in chemistry. So let's play a little attention here. The uncertainty in the experiment or any calculated values is indicated by mentioning the number of significant figures. I'll tell you what it is. It talks about precision. These are the digits which I know with certainty. It talks about precision. I'll tell you why. But before that, let's have some rules to write significant figures. It says that all the non-zero digits are significant figures. For example, I have number 3258.2. All these non-digit numbers will be a significant. In this case, there are four significant figures. All the non-zero digits are significant. Zeros preceding to the first non-zero are non-significant. For example, you say 0 0.28. This suppose it's 0, 0 0.28. So in this case, these are non-significant, but these are significant. Zeros between two non-zero significants are significant. For example, you say 3, 0, 3, 5. So this guy is also part of significant number. Correct? Zeros at the end of the right numbers are significant provided they are on the right side of a decimal point. For example, I have 23.002 or 23.000. So here these are significant. I'll tell you why. Because when I'm talking about let's suppose 23.00, that means I am talking about these precisions. I am talking about, I can talk about something called 23.01. I can talk about something called 23.91, right? So that means these values I can talk about. And that's why these are significant now. But I'm talking about, let's suppose 23.0, that means I'm only interested in 23.1 or 23.2. I'm not talking about 23.01, correct? Because this is the precision of the instrument. So I'm talking about 23.00, that means I can talk about 23.01, 02, 23.9587. So that means these values are critical, right? So if I have point here and if I have numbers here, then they are significant. And exact numbers have infinite number of significant figures. For example, I have 23 that has infinite numbers because you can write 23 as 23.000 infinite number times, right? So that means it is, has infinite number of significant figures. That's the rules for this, but just understand this significant figures are used for precision. And they are meaningful digits which are known with certainty. You are sure that this digit exists. Correct. When you say 23.87, you are sure about all these digits. We'll take some examples on this significant figures. For example, you say 0 0.03. This guy has one significant figure. Why? This guy can write as 3 into 10 to the power minus 2. This guy is only one significant figures. Correct. If I talk about 0 0.200, this guy has three significant figures. Why? Because if I'm talking about 0.2, this guy will have one. But if I'm talking 0.20, this guy will have two. If I'm talking about 0.200, this guy will have three significant figures. Why? Because if I'm talking about 0.200, that means I can also talk about 0 0.201, 0 0.002, 0 0.298 or 87. These values also I can talk about. Because if I'm talking about 0 0.00 here, 0 0.200, I can also talk about these values. That means these numbers are also known with certainty. Right? Because I'm telling 0.200, that means I know it is 0.200 in this case. There may be a scenario where I have 0.201. Thus, these numbers are also known with certainty. So these are three significant figures. If you talk about 32.01, this guy has four significant figures because I can talk about 32.02, 31.95, right? So these plus this. If I add one more zero here, now it will have five. Why? Because if I'm talking about 32.010, I can talk about 32.011 also. Correct. If I talk about something called 23, this guy has infinite significant figures. Why? Because I'm, I can talk about 23.000 also because I am certain that this is 23. 100% sure. 
correct and that's how you find the significant gap example you have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00278 this guy has only c significant why because I can write as 2.78 into 20 to the power minus 1 to 3 so only three significant figures correct and if zero is between for example I have 2308.71 so in this case guys 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have done these examples in class 10 just I'm uh, revisiting it so that you can understand more significant figures plays a critical role and that's why I'm taking this topic little bit t let's take uh, some rules of addition and subtraction for addition it says that the result cannot have more than more digits to the right side of the decimal points than, than either of the original numbers for example I have to multiply 12.11 into 18 point so I do, I'm adding it plus 18.0 let's try like this 12.11 then 18.0, 1.012. Correct. Now, if you see, the least decimal is 1 after decimal point. If you add these, you get 31.122. But your answer should be 31.1. Why? Because the least number is 1. So, I'll, I'm bored only about the least significant figures. Why? Because logically, also, it makes sense, right? Because I am concerned only about numbers, one digit number after decimal because it is 18.0. Even if it is, if I am talking about 18.0, even if it is 18.05, 18.04, 18.03, 18.02, 18.01, 0 18.00, for all these cases, I will write 18.0 only. Why? Because I am taking only one digit after 18. So the final addition should also have only one digit. So this guy has only three, only three digits after point, but I will not bother only about one digit. So I'll take 31.1 as the answer. So the rule is the result cannot have more digits to the right of the decimal point than either of the original So the minimum here was one. So I took one as the answer. Similarly for multiplication also be the same thing. In the in this operation, if you see the result must be reported with no more than significant figures as they are in the measurement with few significant figures. For example, you have this, you multiply 2.5 with 1.25. What you get is 3.125, right? But in this case, if you see, there is one number only. So I'm not bothered about 1 to 5 here. I'm bothered only about 3.1. Why? Because 3.125 will round off to 3.1 if you take only one number after the decimal. Correct? And why I'm doing this? Because one of the numbers involved in the multiplication was only for two significant figures, right? There are only two significant hairs, so we'll take only two significant figures here. So in multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, so all my uh, inputs, you, the rule is you have the inputs, for example, you have A, B, C, D, four numbers, even if you add, you find the least significant figures of this, least significant figures of A, B or C, D, your answer will also be the least. The logic says that if you are not bothered about two significant figures in 2.5, why are you bothered about in the output? So in output also, in the product also, I am not bothered about 3.125. These digits I am not bothered. I am bothered only about 3.1. Hope you understand this. The, the logic is if you have A, B, C, D numbers, you add also, you find the least significant numbers of these. For example, this guy has two. So your output will also have two significant figures. Similarly, for multiplication A into B into C into D. So let's suppose this guy has three, this guy has four, this guy has five, and this guy has one significant figure. So the output will also have only one significant figures. Correct? That's how it is. Let's take some examples. The question is how many significant figures are there in the following questions? So if you see this guy 0.0025, you can write as 2.5 into 20 to the power minus 1, 2, 3. So this guy has two significant figures. 208, I can say that it has three significant figures. Also, I can say it has infinite significant figures. Correct? 5005, it has, you can say, four significant figures. 
or infinite. One two six triple zero here. I can ignore this part because I can write this guy as one point two six into ten to the power five. So this guy has only three significant figures. If we talk about five hundred dot zero, this guy has four significant figures because one two three plus zero here. Because I'm talk, I can talk about five point five zero zero point one. I can talk about five zero zero point two like that. I can talk about this also. So this guy is also significant here because point zero is mentioned. Two point zero zero three four. This guy is five significant. Because I can talk about two point zero zero three five three six, so this means it has five significant figures. Correct. So we have to round this guys to the uh, next three significant figures. So that means I have to take three. One two is already there, so this guy will be three, right? I have to remove these two. So three point two one six, thirty four point two one six. So two one six if you round off, it becomes two. That is the answer. Ten point four one zero seven. This becomes ten point four. Why? Because four one if you round out, this becomes uh, four. If this has been ten point four six one, let's suppose, then I could have written ten point five. If we are rounding off, since it is six, I have made it five. But since it is one here, I am keeping it four only. Correct. This guy point zero zero four six five nine. This guy will become zero point zero. One, two, three significant figures. So I'll make it four, six, zero. because five nine will become six zero. Correct. This guy is not there because I need only three significant figures. So this guy is my three significant figures, four six zero. Please note if you make it zero point four six zero zero, this is four significant figure. One, two, three, four. But I need only three. That's my question. So I'll make it zero point four six zero. Two eight zero eight. This is four significant figures. I have to make it three. I have to remove one. So this becomes two eight one. Why two eight one zero? Because I am looking only for three. So this guy has three significant figures. If you see, two point eight one into twenty to the power three. Correct. Three significant figures. Because my job is to convert this guy into three. This was four significant figures, but I am looking for three. So I made it two eight one zero. Hope you understand this question. How many significant figures should be present in the answer of the calculation? You see, this guy, the first one, this guy has four, this guy has two, right? And this, sorry, this guy has infinite, and this guy has one. So the minimum of them is one, so answer will be one. So I'll take the one part. So this guy will have one significant figure. Correct. If we talk about this, this guy is infinite. This guy has four significant figures. So the answer will be have four significant figures. For take out this question, this guy has one, two, three. This guy has one, two, three, four. This guy has one, two, three. So this guy will have three significant figures. How? Because We'll take the minimum, right? So this guy has three, this guy has four, this guy has three, but we'll take the minimum. So this guy will have three significant figures. Correct. We always take the minimums of the significant figures when we talk about multiplication, division, addition, or subtraction. Now we'll understand dimensional analysis. So often we see that in calculating, we need to convert system from one unit to another unit, right? So there's a method to accomplish this. Right, this fact, this method is called factor level method or unit factor method or dimensional analysis, where we convert units from one system to another. Example: We have two liter of milk. I want to convert this into meter cube because I have a calculation where I have to convert this guy into this guy. For example, I have let's suppose meter per second, some speed. I have to convert this into kilometer per hour. I have something in meter. I have to convert into kilometer. So those kind of conversions for those things we need dimensional analysis, and this helps us in converting one unit of system um, units from one system to another unit. It explains some examples in this. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.